Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my March monthly empties. I am so excited to show you guys because I've got another full basket this month. I was just finishing things off like left and right and I'm so excited to show you guys. Got a lot of candles, got a few body care items and some other goodies to share with you. So let's go ahead and get started. And before we get started with the empties, I do just wanna say welcome to my channel if you are new. I've noticed recently that my analytics say that 80% of the people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So welcome if you're new. My name is Vicki and I make all types of body care candle good girly type of videos. I make routines and things like that. So if you're interested in that, then just subscribe down below and let's get into some empties. Okay, I'm gonna start off with candles because I'm really proud of this one and I actually just finished it off like an hour ago. And that is In the Stars and the Three Wick Candle. I picked this one up at Candle Day this past year and I will definitely be repurchasing it again. This was such a wonderful scent. The notes are bergamot champagne, night blooming water lily and pink salted amber. Totally love the scent. It was perfect. I had it going right here on my bedside table and it was like the perfect nighttime wind down, but like really sexy and wonderful bedroom scent. I adored it. So it's a little, little smoky still because like I said, I just blew it out, but oh, this one was amazing. Um, it did kind of leave some wax on the sides of the candle, but besides that it burned really well and it had a great throw. The next one that I finished off, I'm really sad that I did is Fresh Coconut and Cotton. I will definitely be repurchasing this one before the end of the summer because this was like the perfect scent. The notes are Coconut, Coastal Breeze, and Beachside Cotton. This was such an amazing, like make your home smell, sophisticated kind of scent. This was so wonderful. I just moved into my new apartment last month and this was like the candle that I brought out first because this was the vibe that I wanted for this new apartment and it's in this beautiful like sweater packaging. So this was just like, the most perfect candle to start with. And yeah, I will definitely be repurchasing it. Um, I might even get it in a single wick and use one of my uh, free item coupons on a single wick because that would be really good. The third candle that I finished off this month is Paris Cafe. Um, you guys have probably smelled this one before. It is just like a super rich roasted coffee scent. The notes are rich coffee, brioche, and vanilla creme. Really was just a super powerful uh, coffee scent. Yeah, I had this going in my office in the mornings and it was really great. I I can only tolerate it sometimes, so I might not pick up another one for a couple more months, but I am on the hunt for another coffee scent. And the fourth and final three wick candle that I finished off is Wine Cellar. So this was also a candle day exclusive in 2022. You can also see that this one had some wax that deposited on the sides of the um, container while it was burning, but this one smelled amazing. So this was mulled apples, fresh fig, and cedarwood. Now I see why this originally came out in the fall because it definitely could be a fall scent and it would be really, really nice in the fall. And this wonderful like burgundy wax was so pretty. This was honestly a really pretty, pretty candle while it was burning, especially because it has like this holographic label. It was really, really gorgeous. But I think this is a year round kind of scent, maybe not summertime, but that like um, cedarwood scent in there made it a really good like fresh and clean scent for the house along with the apples. So I really love this. Would definitely get it again if they brought it back out. And I really hope that they do because I think a lot of people were excited that this came out for candle day. So I'm really hoping that they bring it back again for the fall time because this was amazing. And the last candle I have is a single wick in Lakeside Morning. This one was also really good. This is crisp autumn air, white driftwood, and a hint of green apple. This is one of the strongest single wicks I've ever had. It was very, very powerful. And I had this going in my office. And it's a little manly, but like that fresh, um, fresh air, fresh green apple was like a really welcome scent for while I was working. So yeah, this one was amazing. Definitely a strong hitter, especially for a single wick. So that is the five candles that I finished up this month. Okay, moving on to body care, I finished off three hand soaps. The first one is Mahogany Teakwood, which Ryan actually finished off in his bathroom. Just a staple scent. I'm actually about to repurchase it because there is a candle sale going on while I'm filming this. Not candle, a hand soap sale going on while I'm filming this. So 
I'm gonna go repurchase this one for Ryan. Finished off ice cinnamon rolls. This one um, was a leftover from the holidays and I finally finished it off. I don't think I'll get this again though because it is warm cinnamon rolls, fresh orange and sugar glaze. So it's like orange cinnamon rolls. It just got really old after like the first week of using it. The cinnamon was a little too heavy for me so I won't repurchase this again next winter. And the last one I finished off is strawberry pound cake. This is in the fall packaging, but I think I picked this up at SAS. Honestly, this scent is good year round. It is just such a wonderful scent. I'm actually kind of missing it in the bathroom, Ugh, but it was so yummy. So yeah, that's that one. All right, let's go through some body care. So I did finish off the wrapped in vanilla body cream right here, and I did cut it open because there was actually a lot left over in there to finish. So the notes on this are soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and chantilly creme. Just like the most wonderful vanilla, vanilla icing scent. It was so good. And I'm probably gonna be purchasing more on Mercari because I miss it. I'm not gonna lie, I miss it. And then I also finished off a mini body cream in Open Sky. This one I just had on my like desk um, for work and I just used it probably over the last like three or four months casually on my hands every day and I finished it off. So um, I don't have the notes on Open Sky here. It was a little more floral than I would have liked, but I did finish it off and I'm proud of myself for doing that. And then I finished off a full size body scrub from Onyx Bathhouse and Hot Mess Express. This is pomegranate and honey. I really did enjoy this. I love the Onyx Bathhouse formula. Um, just like a really, really coarse scrub. You mix it with a little bit of water and it like foams up. It's so fun to use and it really does give you the perfect like lather and the perfect scrub for like a weekly or bi-weekly scrub before you uh, shave. But I love this scent. It was a really nice kind of welcome honey scent. Um, really good for any time of the year. So I enjoyed this one a lot and it was only $5.99 from Marshall. So I definitely, I don't think I actually own any more Onyx bathhouse scents because I have a lot of body scrubs right now, but I will definitely be repurchasing them just kind of maybe late summer early fall. The last body care item that I finished is my Bath & Body Works aromatherapy um, oil in eucalyptus spearmint stress relief. I love this stuff. I casually use it um, pretty much every time after I shower, but I really was enjoying it in the winter time when my skin was really dry. Um, this is like the perfect thing to put on at that time of year. So yeah, I already have a backup that I'm using now and it is one of my favorites. Oh, I missed this one. Sorry. This is a um, Mary Kay Perfume and Winter Wishes. This is probably from like 2013, 2014 from like my high school days. This is a very old perfume and I finally finished it. I'm so happy. It was like this um, fruity, uh, like cranberry-y perfume and I've been trying to use it for like a solid two years. So I actually finished it up. You can see my progress lines here, like all the way starting up top right here and then here and then here and here and here and here. Yeah, literally I've been trying to use it for over a year. So yeah, finally finished that off. I'm super proud of myself and that one is done. Next I have some wax melts. So I did finish off two from Scentsy. One was Frosted Vanilla. This one smelled honestly exactly like Marshmallow Fireside. I really enjoyed this. It performed super well in the bedroom and yeah, it was one of my favorite scents that I've tried from them. So I will be repurchasing this next year if it comes back. I also finished off a I'm Snow Over It. As you can tell, I was trying to get through my winter scents. Now this one was a little like, I don't know if it had citrus or like orange in it. I feel like that's what it had in it, but it was a good scent for the winter time. I just kind of wanted to finish it, honestly. And the last one I finished is Sensationals from Walmart and Cupcake. This one was really good. It was really sweet, but it wasn't very strong. And it really only lasted like a half a day, but it still smelled great. It was like a beautiful pink wax, so it was fun. And I mean, these are cheap, so it's whatever. I do have a little wallflower plug here that I finished off a couple days ago, and I actually don't have a spot to plug this back in um, in my new apartment. So this one was hot cocoa and cream. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. So yeah, finished off a hot cocoa and cream little wallflower bulb and I really enjoyed it. It smelled like brownies, honestly. Okay, I've got a little hair care and then some skincare and we're done. So I have the Amika Soul Food Nourishing Hair Mask. You know, I really can't tell if I like this one or not. It definitely worked. It wasn't groundbreaking and it was like 40 bucks, I think. So 
I'm not going to repurchase this. I actually am going to try a new hair mask. I haven't really found one that I'm devoted to just yet. So finish that off. I liked it, but not a repurchase. And then I also finished off the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Hairspray. They actually redid the packaging on this one, but I've been using this one since high school or middle school. So definitely a repurchase and I already have a full size in my bathroom. Okay, a couple skincare items. I have the Ordinary's Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA hydration. This was a moisturizer. <laughs> it's the Ordinary's like only moisturizer they own and it's a very simple one. It was really thick which was nice for like the maybe like January, February when it was still cold here but honestly I'm just over it um, and it was super thick so yeah I liked it for the winter time but not now and I'm glad that I finished it up going into the spring. And then I also finished off a Biore UV Watery Essence SPF 50 sunscreen. So this one I actually got off of Amazon. Really like this formula. Um, I will definitely repurchase it for the summertime. I'm using it in this free one right now, but I feel like this one is perfect for the summer because it literally was a gel. Like it was a um, super slick texture and it did not leave my skin oily at all. So I'll definitely be getting this again for the summertime. Next, I finished off a Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliating Treatment. So this was like a acidic treatment for your face. Use it once a week. And I really like this. I would definitely repurchase it. I'm using up another kind of similar exfoliating um, AHA, BHA like resurfacer right now, but I would repurchase this once that one is empty. And the last empty of March is one of my favorites and I'm really sad that I finished it. It's the Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm Lip Treatment. I actually got this for Christmas in 2021 from a friend and I'm so sad that I finished it because this has been my favorite lip product for the entire year. Oh, it was so wonderful. I absolutely loved this and I will definitely put this on my like Sephora wish list so that I buy it next time I do a Sephora, Sephora order. Okay guys, that is the end of my March empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As you can tell, I got through quite a few candles, quite a few body care items, and next month I'm just gonna try and keep that going. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.